All right, so we're not doing the most exciting video today, but it is important. It's for Cass. More MX5 content. We love it. We love it. So we're just going to be pulling the soft top out of this today, putting it in this, taking this hard top off. Cass has got a really cute little doggy, and she needs some more room. So we're taking the soft top out of her car because she always uses the hard top, and then Sakura will have all her space. So hopefully we can do a little tutorial on how to do this. I don't know if it'll be much of a tutorial. <laughs> maybe maybe more of like a watch us suffer as we try and figure this out and then re-put it back in a new another car. Yay! Yay! Yay. So hopefully it's nice and easy. I'm sure it will be. These are pretty these cars are pretty easy to work on, they're nice and simple, so we'll make our way through it. Part one, let's take a hard top off. Just for those people that haven't seen these before, this is how easy pulling a whole MX-5 roof off is. Don't steal our hard tops because I'm showing <laughs> you this video. <laughs> and then basically you just slot it back and up and it comes off, right? That's a theory. As long as we have Torx bolts. Man, man. Okay. 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 We're going on a cute trip to Ripco. <laughs> We've got no roof. No roof. No roof. roof. It's very windy. Ooh. The only thing. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 so lame, but I love it. It's so like, yeah. <laughs> Cash, did like. you lock your car? Done. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's no point. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Thank you, Ripco. Got us some Torx bits and some windscreen sealant. So nice and easy, just remove those two bolts there to hold this frame on, same on the other side. And then there should be a couple more bolts. Pretty, pretty simple really. Nice and easy. I think we are going to have to take these ones off as well, just to get the plastics behind it off. Okay, that pulled through. Alright, so just on that side, so all you need to do to get this off is open the door. Pull that seal forward, yeah. pull that off, and then it literally, there's nothing else holding it on, you just like wiggle it around the seat belt, and it should be enough to get it, all the bolts that are just behind here. Sweet. So now we can reach, I think there's only like a handful, those two there, those two there. And then hopefully the whole frame will be forward and we can start getting under here. Alright, next ones, all these frames are just screwed on with 10 mils, so we're just gonna use a little ratchet. Go and take all those off after you pop the little plastic bits off. So these frames just pull off once you've undone all the bolts. And then this is the seal. So I believe that just pulls forward. I'm gonna pull your side forward, please. It should just pull off. I think we've undone everything. Expose. Oh, all right, and now we've undone all the bolts, all the framing, and everything should come off a little bit. You always must one. Oh yeah, it was easy as to remove. It was sweet. Okay, it was literally just pulled in. And I didn't realise. Wow, 
like a solid 30 minutes maybe to put the carpet, pull this interior out and put the carpet in. Good job Cass. Good job. <laughs> Good job. All right all back in. We are two hours in and we have removed one time soft top, replaced one time soft top into a new car, fitted the interior carpet, cleaned out and put all the seats back in and now we're on for cleaning cars and taking some photos. Woohoo! Good. good job. <laughs> good job. I'm proud of us Cass. That was a good effort. Yeah. Two hours, that's mad. Okay, me and Cass are sitting. Me and Cass are done for the day. We've got this one with Cassia's stocked up on, ready for sale, all the carpet is in. Honestly, it didn't take that long, I was quite impressed. And then Cass's one has heaps of space for a little doggo. And we have chuck the hard top back on now and she's given it a nice big clean up. So really good overall, very successful day. And this thing is ready for sale. It looks so good with the carpet in. It's actually really tidy, so that's awesome. And yeah, good day. Tomorrow I think I'll go over to Hamilton, but we'll see how it goes. My hair's looking all crazy, crazy right now, but I think we're gonna go up to dinner, get something to eat, and enjoy life a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm at home again today. I was gonna go over to the workshop, but honestly, there's not that much I can do right now, so. And I'm pretty tired. I worked pretty late last night. So I'm gonna work on getting this car done. Surely it can be done today. It doesn't need that much. I've literally just been putting it off and then we can clean it. Look at this poor thing. It's literally covered in shit. If I can get it running and driving today, that'd be amazing. I can't figure out where to stop with it. So realistically, I, I wanna like make this thing immaculate and I don't have the resources to do that all the time and I already have a drift car that I want to build more than I want to build this and that's why it's just been sitting on the back burner for like four years now. Let's just crack into it. Let's get this car running and driving and then at least it's somewhere and then from there I can figure out what I do with it next. At least if it's running and driving maybe I'll, I'll le learn to love it again. Sorry I'm really tired so let's see how we go. With a little bit of YouTube magic. Done. Only like wasn't that bad. What's the time? 2.36. Oh yeah, so only like three hours. Felt like longer than that. I'm dying a little bit. But yes, all together, done. Can't believe that was three hours. It's literally been <laughs> a year since this I broke this thing. And it took me three hours to put it back together. That is on procrastination. I'm covered in shit. Um, I have actually realized that... I'm, I don't know where my battery's gone. So I need to go buy a new battery. Gonna go to Repco now. Gonna go buy a battery. And then I'm gonna attempt to start it. Which is stressing me out because, yeah, I put it together that's not good. I don't know, I don't know. There's no water in it at the moment, but I'll have to, I'll see if it starts. If it starts, I'll drive it out and then I'll put water in it. So let's go to Repco for starters and then come back and enjoy the rest of this beautiful weekend. Oh, it's been fucking fantastic. I just broke the gutter. Fantastic. Mum, this is why mum loves me. Anyway, let's go. We'll be back soon and hopefully start it. All right, moment of truth. Bought a new battery for this thing. Let's see if it starts. When is it turned on? Mobilizer. We're mobilizing. Surely not. Oh, you're joking. My immobilizer's flat? This is the most neat thing to ever happen. All right, round two. It works. I had to go buy a battery. The moment of truth.
why is that not turning? Well, that should, um, usually that connects. All right, unfortunately, I can't get a starter today. I tried my best, but the alarm immobilizer isn't speaking to the alarm or the immobilizer in the car, and there's nothing I can do. I've tried, like, looking under the dash and pulling fuses out and that sort of thing and playing around with it, but it's way too complicated, and I don't understand how it works. So I'm going to have to maybe get someone to look at it and figure out how to reconnect it or Google it and figure it out. But at the moment, there's nothing I can do. The battery's charged in it and everything is working. The car's getting power. It's just cutting when you turn the key because the immobilizer's turned on. Um, and I don't know how to bypass it. So I can't do anything, which is frustrating. But this is cars. Overall, pretty successful weekend. So, sorry it's a bit of a boring video. I would have loved to have taken you guys for a drive, but hopefully maybe I can get someone to look at it this week, and then next weekend I can take it for a drive and actually give it some love, because it does deserve it. It's a good car. But, yeah, thank you anyway for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. I appreciate you all. Bye.